Three, two, one, and go. <clears throat> that mashing looked good that time. <sighs> you know, to say, I'm just happy to be having free time to play Quest. Excited for RPG Limit Break uh, game list. Pretty sure I'm gonna go um, whether or not any of my runs get in. <clears throat> Caster, definitely not. There's no way that could happen. That's barely an RPG. Uh, Game Boy Quest, I would expect definitely not, because it's honestly not that interesting of a run. Uh, 200 Spirits, maybe, but most likely not. Uh, All Spirits is really the only thing that has any real chance, and depends on how willing we are to take something like that. Helps that it's a race for sure. And me and drift. I think uh, it'll be good to show off all new stuff. I think this is gonna be. Yes. We encounter slightly behind me. Slightly behind me. Without fail. I run at him, he always misses. it. Right, so I'm just gonna change the RNG a bit by moving differently. if I... he misses there. But even though I moved a little bit and waited, he still missed twice. I got... This is not a good one. I might be dead. If he hits me for four, there's a good chance I die. I might be dead! Oh my goodness! Alright, well let's hope I don't get another uh, Hellhound encounter. Okay, good. I will live through this. <laughs> Ugh. Not what you like to see. Uh, 
Uh, eh? Big mouths look goofy. This is the face of mercy. <laughs> Indeed I did, Lumo. Indeed I did. I... no. Thanks for letting, letting me know. I wasn't sure. Appreciate it, Lumo. Look it out for me. Okay, so the downside is we haven't got a agility. Okay. Counter. So we're not going to be at eight. Want another agility encounter, please? Good. Not. Uh, we haven't gotten the good stuff, but it's whatever. Oh, yes. Thank you for reminding me, Kazi. Thank you for reminding me about that. I'm gonna clone stuff into water first, because we're gonna get to 50 or 50, uh... <laughs> hey, Gainus, how's it do go, dude? Yeah, dude. <clears throat> it's even funnier that it's 130 zero, zero. <laughs> Like, I think it was like 130 zero, zero, 35 or something. Just so ridiculously close. <clears throat> yeah, dude. This is crazy. All the stuff that we have now is ridiculous. Hey, Drifting, thank you. Welcome back if you had stepped away. Ooh, gotta run pretty early. Great. Thank you for the luck, dude, and good luck and have fun with uh, council stuff. We're gonna be. Unless we get a lucky. I will rock shower this, actually. Oh no, that's just... I wasn't sure. Be two levels. Yeah, pretty much. So we're not gonna worry too much, we're not gonna... I don't to get... We'll probably have to step out to get an encounter for agility here, but that's okay. That is A-OK. -okay. Unless we get... I mean, even if we get a good encounter here. No Cobalt, no Cobalt, no Cobalt, no Cobalt. Nice five. <clears throat> no Cobalt. There we go. That's what I like to see. Hmm. 
And the added bonus that we got this when I still had like 11 agility. <sighs> it doesn't matter. Heal for so much right now. Silly how much you go for. If you could stop dodging stuff, that'd be great, thanks. So you should be doing twos and ones now. Because you're... I mentioned this before, but you're, um... Your defense doesn't actually get recalculated if it goes up in an encounter, unless you use a spell that specifically affects your defense. So if an enemy used a defense down, or I used a defense up item or spell, um, after that effect wears off, the game will actually recalculate your defense at that point. <clears throat> and then it goes, oh yeah, it leveled up! So it keeps him doing weaker damage. Because he does 1 and 2 damage when we get to about 56 HP with whatever that defense is. No offhand. <clears throat> Not what I want to see. Wasting time. Can I take uh, two more? One more. that. 15, 92. Alright, we'll almost have 16 outright from this, which is good. Oh, he's still gonna be faster than me. I don't have, quite have 16. Not oh, a great encounter, but at least there's a that in it. Almost a garbage. Hey, okay, I have 16 exactly. I am gonna dip out and dip back in for agility. It's not a big deal. <clears throat> it is now because this is slow, but whatever. That should put me like. This will put me at like 20 something, which is great. I'm gonna walk this way because there's a chance of getting an encounter. If I walk on the left side of those trees, there's no encounters there. I, I wanna get an encounter kind of early. I'm not gonna cast spells right now. I can get a huge amount of by going. going. I don't know if Exit would take you to the start, but no, because uh, Dulce's encounter, it, it wouldn't be worth. <clears throat> because we would have to, the only way to get the good agility would be to go to like the end of Call Hazard, and that's way too long of a walk. Hey, Zealous. I, I think it's a very good RPG. Um, it suffers from being unfinished. How's it going, dude? It did a lot of stuff, like things that other games should try, like, well, I think. The battle system is incredibly unique and kind of cool. 
Uh, you're forgetting about all the JP RPGs. There's actually like nine RPGs on the N64. <clears throat> I love this game. Like, <laughs> I'm got nothing other than that. I think this game's. It's definitely not a great game, but I love it all the same. Still managed to only have 25. I'm not even gonna go pick up that bread. It's gratuitous. I'm gonna beat him up. Oh, please. <clears throat> I'm still gonna go pick up this, though. Or solving nothing. You don't remember how this run used to be before Death Dupe. Fifty percent of the time, he would die every time. The solving awful. <clears throat> I'm grabbing an encounter here to do agility grinding stuff. Didn't kill the other guy, that's fine. Ooh, that was an ugly four. Alright. I'm gonna do a bit of agility grinding, we're gonna get to like 45-ish. We're gonna go in and out a couple times, this will give us two and change agility each time. So this is like almost four minutes of grinding. <clears throat> or we'll be moving on around the four minute mark, depending on encounters, of course. And I try to use Weaken All every time. Um, we get that free MP grind. <clears throat> Unless it's like this, and then I'm gonna try to escape instead. Oh yeah, um, I have not played Aiden Chronicles. I know of its existence and its similarity, but I know it is horribly laggy. <clears throat> I also know the run is uh, kind of glitchy. I do need to play through that at some point, though. I think I tried it for like ten minutes and was like, "Okay, this is gonna. This is like the kind of game I'd have to dedicate a couple days to." <clears throat> From what I heard, it's very similar combat to this one. <clears throat> We're gonna go out and then move on. This was a little bit slow. Some of the encounters weren't exactly fast, but that's okay. Yeah, it definitely was. <clears throat> Thank you. 
and we did waste a little bit of time casting spells, but in the, in the scheme of things, the time loss that we, we ha might have on the split from casting uh, the gratuitous spells is not the end of the world, because we'd have to do it anyway later on. <clears throat> Yeah. Could have used it, doesn't matter. I don't need to use it on two or less encounters, but three or more I definitely should be using it. I already have a dewdrop, so... Gonna uh, skip that. I mean, this is turn based. <laughs> it's just that there's only one person in your party. So it's enemy one, you, enemy two, you, enemy three, you. And you're always every other turn. <clears throat> And Star Fox is real good. <clears throat> Weird audio bug with that spell. Funny. <clears throat> I'm basically gonna be doing agility glitch on every encounter. I will. Now that won't kill them. Forty nine already. Be okay. <clears throat> yeah. That's okay. This one. Miss. <clears throat> and I will definitely do this one. <clears throat> It'll be a little bit. I'm going to be coughing a little bit this evening. Try to... Uh, <coughs> try to mute it when I can. <coughs> Thought I was going to be able to do that. walk was better than the one yesterday. I mean, there are still... people still make ROM hacks for, like, Super Mario 64, but that's, like, the only game that gets ROM hacks these days. I love that you don't have to move to talk to this lady. You literally just start mashing A.
I'd like someone to do a remake of this game, but uh, yeah, good luck. Good luck. Yeah, I agree. Also that. Yeah, no, I mean that's that's the beauty of this combat. It's it's nice and unique in that you can dodge stuff, which is a really neat concept. It makes the combat I mean, while the game isn't terribly large and all that stuff, it makes the combat actually kind of interesting. reason I killed them. They have a chance of dropping a replica. I will not be agility glitching this encounter. I'll do that to them though. Seem, I think uh, I need to actually check when it misses if it actually gives you agility or not. Or uh, not agility, <laughs> MP. the last grind to get to 82 HP. Sorry guys, it's not going to be terribly interesting. So if you need to get a drink, now is a good time. Grab a snack or something.
This is a bad grind. He's missing a lot. It's okay that I get hit with that. It's actually kind of useful. Alright, I didn't need to heal twice. <clears throat> yeah. We'll see. I think I was out of bounds at the 19 minute mark, so this could be a bit faster. <clears throat> and change. Fine. Means I'm gonna do, if I get an encounter here, I'm gonna do it again. Oh, there it is. Okay, so definitely gonna agility glitch first encounter out here. It'll put us probably at 56. About. <clears throat> Hopefully the encounter doesn't happen until we're not here. Well, that's unfortunate that we got that encounter. Oh, okay, never mind. Quick. I <laughs> wasn't expecting to get a, a second encounter so quick. I would say we got that first encounter, which was kind of annoying because that means we had to wait a little bit, but then we got the encounter very immediately. So, fine. <clears throat> Ain't gonna say no to that. <clears throat> Alright, so for those of you who don't know how I just got out of bounds there, this is an N64 game. In corners, with 3D worlds, in early games, they didn't handle it well. So I created a very tight corner, uh, walked into said corner, not actually, not like hold the thumbstick fully, but like walked, or Brian looks like he's doing a walking animation, walked into the corner, the game kind of freaks out, and you kind of slide into this little spot, and it pushes you out of bounds. It, it pushes you away from this acute corner, because it doesn't want you to be in there, and it happens to push us out of bounds in that case, which is incredibly convenient. <clears throat> 
we can still get into encounters, but we'd have to walk close to where the encounter area is. Imagine a highlighter over the route and it kind of bleeds over the sides a little bit. That's kind of how the encounter area is for here, so we can just walk around the outside of all the encounters and stuff. <clears throat> Which is super useful. And we're going to do a big agility glitch at the, at the last spot where I can get an encounter. Which should put us at like 60... no, put us at like 15, 8 or 9. <clears throat> well, this is another unfortunate time of just kind of walking in space. In space. In space. Something. Alright. <clears throat> We're gonna do similar out of bounds three more times. One of them like this. We create a corner, another one, the next one after that, the corner exists in the game. Uh, and the fourth one, we're going to use compression out of bounds, the old style out of bounds. There may be a fifth additional one in there, but it depends on uh, if we get the right encounters in the right spots. Right, so, yeah, 59. We should be easy 63 agility. Okay. <clears throat> Uh, so my gold split on this is essentially impossible. Don't worry about that. I'm gonna actually, I'm gonna skip picking up the MP item that I usually grab. I should, but it's a real gold if I don't do um, defense or agility grind. If I don't do one of those, it's actually real. No question of which one. Counter is the better. Just for agility purposes. Sixty-two seventy-nine. I will do one more agility glitch. Probably. Yeah, as much as I don't want to do it on this encounter. You'll understand in a hot second why I don't like this doing this on this one. Well, it wasn't bad, he missed a lot. Uh, Lamaya's used Wind Cutter 3, so they hit a lot. <laughs> a bit kind of hard. Oh, it's a bit sketchy. I'm not gonna grab that spirit over there this time. I'm 63. <clears throat> I could go for that, but whatever. <clears throat> Should be using magnet rock. I forgot. Okay. One, eight. Don't walk. Good. Two, three. He's dead. Again, I say, nah, dog. Or else nothing. <clears throat> Granted, he was never really that hard as long as you get him to continually do his mid range attack. Okay, we can save a buttload of time on a uh, combined this split and next split. It depends if we get the agility glitch. Uh, if we get a good encounter coming out of Blue Cave, uh, that means a Termant or 
um, the thunder gels, and we'll save a bit of time, not have to do an extra dip into blue cave and out of blue cave. But if we do do that, we lose essentially a minute having to do that. <clears throat> Without putting any more into water, because uh, 48 is the last multiple of 8 that we can get to, uh, and every multiple 8 of adjacent spells of earth and gives it essentially another earth level. That was really fast. Set this up right. That was a really good out of bounds. Unfortunately, the encounter wasn't. I didn't get out like a I messed up, cast heal, and then you know, save didn't work the first time. So it could have been a bit faster, but that's still a very, very good out of bounds. So I'm definitely ahead of my PB split. I think I got out. I think got the encounter like two and change. And I got up by like three minutes. That was about as fast as an encounter as you're gonna get. You can get an encounter as you're walking down the steps. That was before I even spun around like once, which was really, really good. I'll probably accidentally get into an encounter here. Oh, okay, cool. Didn't mess that up. So we're gonna do this. And hopefully this will be aiming us at the end of Blue Maze. <clears throat> we're gonna go for an agility glitch at the end. It's only gonna put us at like 67-ish. So that's why we want uh, Termance or Thunder Gels when we get onto the Isle of Sky, uh, because they're both... Termant has like 33 agility or something, not great, and Thunder Gel is around that as well. They're both pretty slow. Thunder Gel is slower than that. Um, but there's Pixies, and then there's the... Uh, what is the Fish Stick's actual name? Grangok or something? Fish Stick? Uh, Pixies have 70 agility and the uh, uh, Grangok have 75. We don't want to see either of those because then we lose out on a free agility glitch, which will put us at like 72. The the agility glitch from the end of Blue Cave to the beginning of Isle of Sky is a gigantic amount of agility. <laughs> it's fish stick. I mean, they are fish sticks. I think, I think their name is Grangok, what they're actually called. And I don't know what that's a reference to, or if it's like a mystical monster or whatever, like I'm, I'm not familiar with that name at all. So if anyone knows what that means or is or whatever, please, more than happy to know. That's fine, Luma. I don't disagree, I call them fish sticks. Grab an encounter here. That probably is. I actually wouldn't be surprised if it was. Okay, and we're out. Boom, we're out of blue cake. <laughs> we're done with all that crap now. Onward to beat up Nefty. can skip this and save a bit of time, but um, the extra MP item is probably worth it, especially since I skipped one in uh, Normoon. <clears throat> Termant, Thunder Gel. Termant, Thunder Gel. Termant, Thunder Gel. 
Hermant, Thunderchill. Hermant, Thunderchill. That is both of those and also a Pixie. Alright, so we lose a minute. And change, really. And there's nothing we can do about it. It's just straight RNG. Sucks, but the way it is. Oh well. <clears throat> Hey, Birdie, how's it going, dude? Welcome, welcome. Alright, Nefty. Good. Three? Alright, I'll take it. Don't walk, don't walk, don't walk. Or... Oh. Yes, I am. That's not cool. Good. Oh, that would have been really good gold, too. I should have actually just used the, um... Good. Still a gold, but could have been way better. That's fine. Mm. If that if that hadn't dropped, I probably would have. Uh, if that hadn't dropped, I would have uh, smacked her, and then used magic barrier again, and tried to hit her again because that would definitely would have killed her. And that would have been way faster, but. It's okay. Still, still a good split. <clears throat> and that's that's fish stick. Grand Gok, Yep. Annoying. We do want to take some damage because we are going to do a death warp. So it's okay to be hit a couple times. Not too much though. We do want to. Okay. Good. That's actually. <clears throat> I'm not going to go out of my way to really grab spirits uh, too much. I'm only going to really grab ones on the path. Except for one or two here or there. Like, I'm going to clone this spirit out here. <clears throat> Fun fact, the reason I didn't grab it before, because uh, I could just grab it for one, but if I tried to clone it, it'd take me back to the beginning of Blue Maze. But, if we do it after we kill Nefty, cloning it puts, or exit puts us back here instead. <laughs> Which is super convenient. <clears throat> So we're going to lose a bit of time, uh, now, a minute, because I have to <clears throat> grind for a little bit extra agility. Kind of sucks, but the way it is. point basically time loss because uh, I'd, I'd actually be trying to die right now so it's still not time loss yet it's probably time loss in like the next 10 seconds or so because then I would be dead but so we have to go for another encounter out here and hopefully no fish stick but it doesn't really matter if it is fish stick or not but preferably not him okay good we're faster than the pixie now we have 72 which is convenient so I'm gonna take this hit good this will make our death in here faster don't have to waste as much time. So, this was actually not terrible. So we didn't lose as much time as we uh, did my PB. Good. <clears throat> time save on this split is pretty much getting the right encounter for Nefty. A lot of it, unfortunately. But it's also if we get a good out of bounds at the beginning of East uh, East Lima, then we'll also save a bit of time there. Nice. Alright, this is this is the encounter we actually won at the beginning of East Limeland. This guy right here. So that was actually really good. So we're probably like 
we're like 10, we're actually like 15 seconds ahead of my uh, PB at this point, like on the split. Not on the run itself, but I meant on the split. <clears throat> I think I tell I died at like 3.35 or so. Something like that. <laughs> Still slow, but a bit faster. Alright. So we want uh, a solo um, Scarecrow so we can go out of bounds. Oh, with the compression out of bounds. Hopefully the encounter will be near the wall. Okay. Not a Scarecrow. But that's okay. This is not a bad encounter. <clears throat> Solo Scarecrow, or, or double Scarecrow is fine. Or triple Scarecrow. We use compression here. Good. So we're, we're gonna stand between him and the wall. And he's close enough to the wall. Where when he hits me, or goes back to normal size, he'll actually push me out. And I actually kinda wanna take these hits. <clears throat> he got stuck on the wall, so he's just walking in place. So this is a really good out of bounds. <clears throat> that was a solid out of bounds. That last turn I should have, uh, I shouldn't have healed, I should have just keep, but it's okay. <clears throat> oh, this is just, this saves, like, if it's quick like that, it saves probably a minute. Just because we don't have to, uh, you know, do this walk and deal with all the encounters and stuff. This is mildly faster. But it depends on that being a quick out of bounds, and that was definitely a quick out of bounds. <clears throat> the last turn unfortunately kind of sucked, but the rest of it was okay. <coughs> I am gonna um, grab an encounter real quick, because I just want all the extra agility that I can get. <clears throat> Put me up to like 87 or something. I only need 84 for the beginning of uh, Bear Goon. Perfect. This is a much faster encounter. All the extra agility is just helpful in general, so. And, uh, I don't know if I mentioned this about Out of Bounds, but you can't actually activate doors from Out of Bounds, which is a problem for this Out of Bounds, or was, uh, because the entrance to Bergen Tunnel is a door. But, there's this nice convenient spot right here that pushes you back in bounds. Super nice. <clears throat> I didn't grab the spirit last time, I'm gonna grab it this time. That means I'm about even. I'm actually two spirits down from where I would normally be, or where I was. But I had 50 water instead of 48, and that it actually makes a difference uh, for my uh, earth damage. <clears throat> but. My healing is mildly weaker. Inconsequential amount, really. <clears throat> Hopefully we get, like, one encounter real quick. And no encounters. Paramancer, okay. That wasn't on purpose, but I'll take it. <clears throat> Okay, so this this is one of uh, two spots that we know of in the game where there is a corner that we can walk into and go out of bounds on. That just happens to exist. And we're gonna use it for this out of bounds. It's awesome. <clears throat> I'm not always going to uh, cast spells. If there's three of them, I will. <clears throat> two of them I'm not going to. I actually should be really just be doing this. It hits five times. Not, it's not the fastest, but it hits five times, which is pretty nice. 
Uh, no. <laughs> I did not. I can do it on this guy, because he's... Will-O-Wisps used to be really sketchy. Now we're faster than them, so who cares? <clears throat> Alright, so this corner. I'm gonna walk into the corner. And pop out. <laughs> like that. <clears throat> and now we're out of bounds. And we're gonna skip Shilf entirely, so... You ready for that? <clears throat> I want to... I've been taking this slightly new route where I don't go over a drop down, I just go directly to where I need to run. <clears throat> and definitely saves a bit of a good bit of time, I'd say like 15 seconds, 20 seconds maybe. It's not so far out of the way, but it's it's nice. So we see this stuff here, and I want to go down here. So, and I'm going to hit the wall the same way. So instead of dropping down so I can see this better, I know exactly kind of, or not exactly, but more or less where it was. It's going off to the right and then coming back up to it. I just went right to that spot. I'm going to hit this wall. And a bit. Okay, hit the wall. I'm going to run north for just a little bit until I can go east again, which will be about here. Yep, and we're going to go east along the wall, and I'm turning less, I turned like southward of the east, and you run at the wall and it'll turn you eastward as long as I'm holding forwards. But I will drop down, right there, and now we're at a nice height where we can see everything. It's a super convenient, nice little thing that exists there. Otherwise the, uh, the rest of this would be super sketchy. <clears throat> so this isn't going to be as bad, but this is going to be like 12 minutes. We actually saved a bit of time, and that's, I think it's mostly the fact that the out of bounds was good. I think I had two, I think I had a slow encounter, and then just an awful out of bounds in my PB. <clears throat> but we could definitely get like a, you could definitely get like a 10, 10, 12, I don't, I don't know if you can get, I think you can actually, you can get a 10, 12, it just would be, you need to get that uh, agility glitch encounter before Nefty, is all. <clears throat> So I'm going to dip over here for an encounter. I do want this agility, so it'd be like 93. Okay, it hurts. And, uh, okay, I was like, I kind of actually want to get hit by both of them, but... And four, okay. All right, now we're going to run to the end, and we're done here. And save a good bit of time. Good. <clears throat> Based on the amount of time that I am saving on this split, pretty much all the out of bounds. Pretty much all out of bounds there. Well, just barely not 12 minute split. Just barely. Probably like a 57, 8, 9. Just oof, close. As long as we don't get were cats first, we're faster than everything else. Which I will uh, go for the agility glitch. Cool. Yeah, I didn't. I wasn't actually looking at the split time, so I don't know. All right, so we have a silly amount of agility. <clears throat> that was probably twelve in the dot, which is fine. It's you know, anytime it's good time save. <clears throat> nice thing is we're faster than everything here. Oh, was it 11.59? Okay. Doesn't matter. I don't get an encounter here. Actually, I will. I'll do this a couple times.
Waste a little bit of time, that's not a big deal. Uh, 45%. Uh, we're, we definitely don't need to, like, grind unless I get, like, a 5 or 6. Not even grind, but, like, don't need to cast spells. Much. If I can get out, I'll probably use Weaken All. No. Uh, stay in Encounter at all. <clears throat> Encounter first. <clears throat> Perfect. I did uh, agility glitch there. I'm getting hit right now. Not cool game. Cast that spell. So, oof. I do this now. Um, this is bad. <clears throat> nice. Ooh, barely out of bounds. That was not a pretty out of bounds, but we're only we're not gonna lose that much time, actually. Thankfully. Hey, twenty-one. <clears throat> we'll save a little bit of time not having to grind any uh, MP. Oh no, we're gonna lose a lot of time on this split, actually. And by a lot of time, I mean like forty seconds. <clears throat> Maybe a minute. That out of bounds was really bad. So it's gonna be a minute and fourteen from now. So that's gonna put us at seven. No, that's gonna put us at six forty. Twenty yeah, so we're gonna lose about a minute. Unfortunate, but <clears throat> it's okay. This is a gold split, so losing not much time is, is way okay. We got time to save on Guilty, Bogus, and not so much on Mammon, but that you could- well, we could still technically save time on Mammon, because that was a... <coughs> it's like a 740, 50, maybe- or no, it's like an 8, so there's still time that can be saved on that split. <clears throat> but Guilty, I can save time on. Bogus, I can save time on. I think they're both like a minute of time saved, potentially. I didn't think agility would be saving this much time, which is crazy to me. Alright, that was 16, so we should be seeing the encounter at about 30. 29 or 30. Okay. The encounter should be... 
now. I do want to drop down here, so there we go, and hopefully no second encounter, good. wasn't great because it took more than two turns to kill the other guys and then just the out of bounds was sketch. <clears throat> And based on my HP that I have right now, we're probably going to end up at about 160. So we can still die to in heads, <clears throat> but they have to roll really well. these three spirits out here. Oh, and I forgot to mention it last time, but this is the first instance of uh, the game is incomplete. Well, not the first instance, but like the first speedrun related instance, I guess. Kind of? I don't know. Anyway, there's actually encounters in this little area right here, but walking along this wall, uh, you don't get any encounters. So, there are technically encounters here. <clears throat> There's also encounters on the bridge when we walk out, but we're gonna walk along the se left side of the wall for the same reason. Right. Kinda hope I get a four here, or five, doesn't matter. If we get a six, that'd be cool too. That was a three. That was impressively bad. <clears throat> we'll just pretend that didn't happen. But, as long as I get a 4 here, I'll be at 48, which is what I want anyway. <clears throat> yep, alright, so, 48 is what I wanted. Because, uh, uh, so, the way levels work, obviously each level in its own element is one. It's like one level. Uh, the opposite element every 16, so for Earth, every 16 wind is like an additional level on Earth. For the adjacent elements, fire and water, every 8 levels is an additional element. So since 48 is the last multiple of 8, um, that's all we want to get to. 50 is nothing but extra damage or bonus healing on that element. But since we don't use anything but Earth for damage, it doesn't matter. So, like, max damage we could get for an Earth spell is 50 Earth and 48 of everything else. <clears throat> I'm gonna have a good bit of agility. Probably have 105-ish. Nice. I will do an agility glitch on this first encounter, and that's the last agility glitch I'll do with the game. Rude, he actually walked up. Yeah, uh, another reason we train is that those guys can one-shot you, but the, uh, the agility kind of makes that safer. So, the... <clears throat> I had, I've done runs where I've done no training prior to the agility route where I do no defense grinding at all, and also no agility grinding, and I've made it here, I think, a handful of times, like three or four. Uh, one or two has died to the red red knights, 
because if they're close enough, they kill you. Um, and the other ones, I think, have died to pinheads. <laughs> I think one may have died to Guilty, because he can one-shot you with his close-range attack. Bogus could definitely one-shot you with his laser. It'd be close with his his sword slash. <clears throat> but also, I'm going to save, uh, save time on the split, because I'm not doing any spell casting at all. Whereas in my PB, I had to get this 21, so I did some extra s stuff here. <clears throat> and really, it's up to the encounter's point. <clears throat> we just have this spiral up to guilty. And we say hi to dad. Hi to dad. Punch Bogus in the mouth. I'll really just throw some rocks at him. And then go throw some rocks at a barn door. Broadside of a barn, as it were, because guilty or uh, mammon is gigantic. Well then, hi dad, bye dads. Drifting is making a flag of seemingly, maybe. You could you could take a five by five of high dad by dad, and then you could do like lines of uh, Brian's face and like Shannon or something, and make a flag out of it, or maybe Solverang or something. All right, guilty. <clears throat> Hopefully, okay, good. He shouldn't move. I'm gonna set this up, so I'm actually gonna take a hot second here. One. Not good. Good. <clears throat> close. I want his close range to be in the middle of my body. That's the optimal spot. <clears throat> Thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. Sixteen, seventeen, he should be dead. Good. <clears throat> I'm down two MP items from where I would normally be, so I was like using four MP items on him. I used mint leaves on Nepti. And I didn't pick up the uh, <clears throat> uh, the MP item in Normoon. 
That's part of the reason I went for that. I'm, I'm a bit lower on MP items than I would normally be. <clears throat> Bit of time to save here. Not a whole lot. I'm gonna grab this MP item. <clears throat> you do lose a little bit of time, so let's say three. Almost ten seconds grabbing that item. <clears throat> Not preferable, but whatever. I think I need it. <clears throat> you could, uh, you could skip it, but then you're betting on uh, Bogus playing nice, and I don't have that kind of time to make that bet yet. <clears throat> I know, right? I'm not gonna even grab the spirit over there. It doesn't matter. <clears throat> ah, yeah. Yeah, <laughs> agreed. <clears throat> so, uh, the Eltale book, a famous book, was stolen from our monastery. It contains, like, all the magic in the world or something to that effect. <clears throat> our dad, a master spirit tamer, went after it. He's been gone for a month, and as any ten-year-old would be, he's worried, or we're worried, that our dad hasn't come back yet. <coughs> Excuse me. So we come back to get our dad, or go out to get our dad, really. We make it to this room, I'm a chest, and we just leave our dad there because he's nothing as blood but a plot device. So, you know, hi dad, bye dad. If you got FFZ, let's see them hi dads, bye dads, if you will, please. <clears throat> Thank you, Xyphus. And hopefully whatever you get is delicious. Or it will be. <clears throat> I apologize, guys. My throat's been not playing nice. been coughing this entire run. <clears> or <throat> clearing my throat, really. Alright. Do this. <clears throat> Good. One to start with. Then I'll walk over... Oh, he actually did that attack. It's a little bit faster than the laser. Get in there. <clears throat> That's not good. Good. Can you walk, please? I'm gonna walk up. There we go. Better spot, that's all. One. Fine. Probably gonna lose a lot of time on the split, but that's okay. <clears throat> fight so much. <clears throat> Three, four, five, go. It's a terrible fight.
All right. On to Mammon. Let's do it. On to Mammon. <sighs> Second last time we have to talk to anyone. Voluntarily, that is. Well, not really voluntarily. We have to talk to her. She gives us the Eltale book. <clears throat> And then we move on. And now we're in Mammon's World, and let's get those bets. How many encounters do you think we're going to get? Anywhere from zero to infinity, really, but it shouldn't be that bad. Let's say, like, ten. <clears throat> Three. Oof. Alright, all strong. Three encounters. My vice, please. My soul. I don't want another five pinhead encounter. Seven? Oh my god. You guys are mean. <sighs> Let's hope everyone just bet zero. <laughs> right. Unfortunately, it's a bit of a tedious walk. Two of these rooms that are a minute long. Uh, yeah, no, I know that feel. Sucks, dude. <clears throat> I got six, two runs ago. I got four of the past run, so I'm gonna say I'm gonna get two encounters. This is the first area that we'll get, and probably we can get into an encounter, really. Alright, that's good. This is the second area we'll probably get into an encounter. Alright, that's fine. Judgments are not even slightly scary, especially when you're faster than them. They're not scary anyway, but I'm also faster than them, so double bonus, you know? Oof! Alright. Get out of here. Oh. Yeah, Pinhead's kind of sketchy. That sucks, that's a bad encounter, and also I don't have any healing items. So. <clears throat> so third place that we might get into an encounter. The high chance there's no like wall walking or anything that reduces the chance of encounters. We just have to walk through the area and hope we don't get to an encounter. All right, these guys, Spriggans are, Spriggans are fine. He might punch me for, he also silence me instead. That's fine. Spriggans are so that's like, we're gonna call that like realistically time wise that was like two and a half encounters because that I didn't have a healing item after the pinhead, but the judgment encounter was barely an encounter. Great encounter was also barely an encounter. But the uh, in-head encounter sucked. I had to manually heal a bunch. <clears throat> Three encounters. Are my curse so far looking like the best guess? I'm two and a half time wise because the 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 judgment encounter was really quick. The Spriggan encounter was relatively quick. But the pinhead encounter, I had to manually heal, which was terrible. So that was a really, really, really slow. <clears throat> but that's fine. This room again, slightly brighter, but exactly the same otherwise. <clears throat> Alright. Only one more room that I can get into encounters with, and I shouldn't get into an encounter 
<clears throat> and I'll be a little extra careful just so I don't. Uh, it's the reason I was at that uh, past room of, or I think it was before this one, or two rooms or three rooms back or something. Also, hey, Pona, bye, Pona. He locked away Mammon in his jail a thousand years ago. <clears throat> but I'm going to walk along the walls in this area <clears throat> to not get encounters. Like, I could walk straight to that bridge, but there's a good chance you get into an encounter. But if you walk along these walls, no encounters. There's a, this is like the last spot where I could get into an encounter. Really, it's this spot right here. And I didn't get into encounters, so three encounters. Good guess, Makur. Good guess. <clears throat> Alright. Alright. The big man himself. We can take this kind of lazily. Good. Yes, yes indeed. Three. I could go for it. That was like five. Going for it. There we go. There we go. Sub 130. 128.49. Ah. If that was a minute faster, this is a 127. Which is the death dupe alone. Pretty good run overall. Is it 128.49? Huh? Oh. Vice. <laughs> Anus, Mucker, Quasi, Drifting, Desro, Ephesus, Vice. Anyone else? Kazi, thank you for the GG's, guys. Appreciate it. Yeah, no. God. As much as I would like that... Alright. This... This is actually a decent run. Mavitz, thank you as well. <sighs> it's actually a decent run. Oh, man. And save easily a minute on that split. What's the Orla? <laughs> Against some of the best. <laughs> so there's like a, a minute and change there. That was a gold solvering 
which is surprising at this point. Also, Alaris, thank you for the GG's, dude. Zell saving a bit of time is great, so that's fine. Gold on Nefty was actually pretty good, but it could have been better. So, still time we can be saved there. There's a free minute on Shelf, assuming I get a good uh, agility glitch before Nefty. Fargo is just a bad out of bounds, so that's that sucks. Guilty could have been a bit better, but I'm not going to argue with that. Bai just could have been way better. Bogus, Bai just, whatever. And Mammon was also... I mean, 821, like, compared to my gold, which is an 807, is decent, but I think my gold and uh, all spirits is a 727 or something like that. So there's, like, a, almost a minute. But it's just getting a good Mammon fight, and I have awful luck with it for some reason. In any percent. I always seem to, like, the... I hit him five times max in, like, the first two casts, always, and you should be hitting him at least eight times. Every, like, if you don't hit him four times every turn, it's not a good fight. But I did have those last couple turns where I hit him, like, that one turn when I was at, like, nine, I hit him for, like, seven or something, or six, or something ridiculous. I hit him a lot. That was crazy. <sighs> awesome. Uh, that's awesome. So back to Indiana Jones. Indiana Jones is kind of somewhere off in the abyss. It'll get done. I'll put... Ah, it's just that one level is awful, so... Time for Glover. Ugh. <laughs> I could play Glover. Uh. I am, however, going to go to the bathroom real quick. And... Have a bit more whiskey. <clears throat> so I'll be right back real quick. <clears throat> Question for you guys. What what do you want me to do? We do salty runbacks. Although I don't have anything to be salty about really with that run. Other than Death Dupe not being as fast as it could be, that was a pretty good run. Death Dupe and the Fargo, uh, the boil hole out of bounds were the only things that were like bad. Bogus was I mean it wasn't a great fight, but it was decidedly average. And the Mammon fight was not great, but it wasn't bad. Reverse boss run? Technically possible. <clears throat> Technically it's possible. Um, so, fun fact.